Well, I was adopted when I was, what, 13 months old. So, yeah, I don't really know too much about the, the, the whole thing and I was too young to remember it, so. Mum always said it was because of me that he was adopted because I kept having my face in other people's prams and saying I wanted to have another brother or sister. Um, well, I was really excited. I wanted a little baby brother. It was going to be great. There was one little boy who was in a cot and he was crying. And uh, Helen said, what's wrong with that boy? I don't know what's wrong with the child. And she went over and looked in and it was Jeremy and he was crying. And she, they said, oh, he's disabled. And um, I've got to be careful not to get emotional here. But um, she said that's the one I want. I think, um, well, I never had, my legs never worked. I was never going to work. He was born with a rare congenital disease called arthrogryposis. And, I mean, he would know, I think, I'll say 1974, he had his legs amputated. His legs were um, not formed the same as yours and mine. They were a little bit smaller. He'd had oh, so many operations up to that point. He'd had something like 26 operations on his feet to try and make them straight and make them better. I was decided when I was, he was around eight years old. I think I, I vividly remember sitting in the, my doctor's office, Mr. Schumack, and um, with mum and dad. And uh, the question was raised and uh, you know, we always had 100% faith in what Mr. Schumack said because he was always my surgeon. He always did what was best or what we thought was best. And the decision was made to yeah, amputate both the feet above my ankles and you know, at that stage it was seen as the you know, a better option for me to actually live a fulfilling and as active life as possible. And table tennis for me started at home. We probably played each other, I'll say between 1975 and 1980. What's five games a day <laughs> <laughs> times five years? You know, he was brilliant at table tennis and he could beat able-bodied people like you and me. Yeah, so um, he was a friend of my older brothers and older sisters, Jeff. He just, you know, he said, come along one day. So we went along, had a hit. He was quite surprised. Next step was they were having their national selections because the Paralympics were the following year. Right. And you play in your division and I won my division and came second outright and got, got selected straight away pretty much six months after I sort of started the competitive side of things. So it was a, a fairly meteoric rise to... A quick transition. Yeah, to... Um, you know, from just playing in your, your front room with your mates to actually booking a seat on a plane to go over and represent your country, so it was a bit of a difference. So proud, like, so proud. Still got the poster somewhere with, with him. Yeah, I sort of didn't realise what a big deal it was until it actually happened. And, and to get to that point and to get to that um, level of participation and achievement was extraordinary. Yeah, I have fond memories of the whole experience. You know, we all watch the Olympics and and wonder about you know, how they how they can run so fast and jump so high. But I don't think you really get the essence of sport until you actually really go to a Paralympics mm. and see some of the challenges that people face and um, and how sport trend you know transcends transcends levels and people and and so on. So. Um, I think the Paralympics is a really good eye-opener for everybody. Yeah, I, was, I remember the first time I actually saw him, where I was, I was in the gym working out, working up sweat, and um, yeah, saw him uh, walking past the gym, and yeah, and that was my first sort of um, sighting of him, I suppose, and yeah. Jess was one of my staff members way back when, and um, that's how we met, and, and uh, what are we? Nearly 13 years later, we're still together and married and... Yeah, it's, it's good that we've... Um, very similar in a lot of ways, um, where he's got a very good sense of humour. Yeah. Um, I've never seen Jeremy go, why me? Why was I adopted? Why am I disabled? Yet he's gone on to go to Paralympics. And represent Australia. Yeah.